something shocking just occurred on the Temple Mount. Imagine waking up to find that a landmark event has unfolded in one of the most sacred and contested locations on Earth, a development on the Temple Mount that defied even the boldest forecasts. Prepare yourself, for what you are about to learn could radically alter our understanding of ancient prophecies and our future. It may sound dramatic, but we are indeed witnessing a transformation that few can fully grasp, yet it will impact us all. The Temple Mount, revered at the heart of Jewish, Christian, and Muslim traditions, was the stage for something so unforeseen that it confounds the expectations of scholars and religious leaders alike. When we mention a shocking event, we are not overstating. The recent peace in this typically volatile setting might not be mere coincidence, but could signify the advent of something far greater. This occurrence transcends mere politics or religion. It is a sign, a milestone, a shake-up to the very foundations of what we believe is possible. You are about to discover exactly what transpired and why it holds significant importance. It could herald the fulfillment of prophecies or represent a critical step in rewriting history. One thing is certain, what happens on the Temple Mount resonates far beyond its boundaries, with implications far vaster than many acknowledge. Brace yourself to confront some of the most profound and consequential upheavals of our era. The Temple Mount, laden with history and emotion, has experienced such dramatic changes that it seems the prophecies are being painted with the brush strokes of the present. Recent developments, like the publicly performed priestly blessing, mark a transformation that few could have envisaged just years prior. It appears as though each detail is aligning within a grand prophetic puzzle, adjusting right before the eyes of those attentive. Wouldn't it be astonishing if with each new dawn we observed more signs? Witnessing Jews access the Temple Mount with fewer restrictions is a development that invites profound contemplation. Imagine a place, once a symbol of tension, now permitting freedoms previously thought unimaginable. These alterations are viewed as harbingers, stirring not only scholars but anyone familiar with the prophecies concerning this site. Perhaps it's like that missing puzzle piece that once placed suddenly makes the entire picture coherent. We seem to be witnessing history in motion, as ancient words predicted. These silent transformations extend a veiled invitation, an invitation to watch, question, and comprehend. What comes next? It feels almost like a prelude to something grander, and it's hard not to sense the wind of change. When events of this magnitude occur without major upheaval, all that remains is to prepare for what lies ahead. And that's when the scenario broadens, prompting us to consider prophecies about the construction of something much larger. The events unfolding seem to echo biblical prophecies, materializing in broad daylight, preparing for the reconstruction of the Jewish temple, once deemed a distant, almost utopian reality. Yet here we are, Witnessing every detail align as prophesied in Daniel 9 verse 27 and Revelation 13. These sacred texts serve as pieces of a map, guiding us to a future where each step introduces a new, more dramatic scenario. These preparations are not mere theories or floating predictions. With every tangible advancement, the Temple Institute dedicates decades to creating garments, instruments, and even ceremonial plans, making the prophecies palpable. Imagine an organization so committed to realizing what has been promised for generations. It's like witnessing an ancestral dream gain shape and substance. Given all this, it's easy to see that something larger is in motion, something preparing to bloom. The preparations are akin to a grand rehearsal for the future. The words of the prophets, once resonating through the halls of history, now begin to animate the daily actions of these dedicated individuals. The sensation is that we are not merely reading about these prophecies, we are witnessing the performance commence, like the first chords of a symphony that foreshadow a grand opus. These initial steps leave us wondering what more the sacred texts will reveal about the awe-inspiring times awaiting us. The Temple Institute is not just any organization. It is a pivotal force behind a vision of the future many deem prophetic. They are not merely preparing. They are meticulously engineering the details that bring the Third Temple concept to life. Ceremonial priestly vestments, sacred instruments, all these elements are constructed with a precision that transcends time. 
setting the stage for the final act of a grand narrative. It's fascinating to think that these preparations are unfolding right before our eyes. Each action stacking up like blocks to build something monumental. Imagine the precise, almost ritualistic sewing of priestly garments or the crafting of instruments, such as the shofar and censer, each embodying deep symbols in Jewish tradition. This reflects the level of seriousness and dedication involved efforts that transcend the boundaries of time and faith. It's not just a material project, but a living affirmation of ancient promises that many believe are being fulfilled. Interestingly, even without a set date, the preparations convey a silent certainty. It's like watching a chef meticulously prepare a long-awaited recipe, not knowing. When the feast will occur, but continuing with focus and precision, as if envisioning the future before them. This prompts us to wonder, if they are so prepared, what stops us from imagining that the prophetic scenario is already set, and that something much bigger could soon unfold? How could recent political events further accelerate these plans? The political dynamics around the Temple Mount are increasingly complex, yet surprisingly adaptable. The easing of resistance to Jewish prayers at the site is a significant indicator of changing attitudes, not only among religious leaders, but also among political actors who directly influence access to the mountain. This reflects a moment when the lines between the secular and the sacred are blurring, as if history itself is being rewritten in real time. What could this mean for the future? The winds of political change often reflect the spirit of the times. Recently, political figures have opened doors that were previously tightly closed. Imagine the behind-the-scenes negotiations and alignments that gradually made the Temple Mount more accessible to previously restricted religious practices. These political shifts are crucial pieces of the puzzle, defining not only the future of a nation, but also the unfolding of ancient spiritual promises. What is happening on the Temple Mount is not an issue restricted to Judaism alone. The implications of these events cross religious boundaries, connecting with Christian and Muslim beliefs as well. For Christians, the Temple Mount is an essential landmark in prophecies about the end times, and every movement there awakens a deep sense of urgency and expectation. For Muslims, it is a sacred place linked to the deepest traditions of Islam. This convergence of meanings turns each event into a pivotal moment for millions globally. Each religious group has its own interpretation of the events unfolding there. Jews see the construction of the Third Temple as the fulfillment of ancient promises, a renewed hope. For Christians, many perceive this movement as the harbinger of apocalyptic events, linking the present with prophecies described in the book of Daniel and Revelation. For Muslims, any change is viewed with great caution, as the Temple Mount is also one of the holiest sites in Islam. It's as if each act could rekindle spiritual flames, whether of renewal or concern. These religious implications not only intensify the symbolic charge of the Temple Mount, but also place all of humanity on a kind of global spiritual stage. The varied perspectives on the mountain remind us that we are not discussing a local event, but something, with the potential to alter the spiritual dynamics of the entire world. Will these different views converge on a common understanding? Or will they continue to strain the already sensitive bonds of this place? It's intriguing to think that although the events on the Temple Mount could easily incite conflict, what we have recently witnessed is an unexpected, almost surreal calm. When priests began ascending the mountain dressed in ceremonial robes, a scenario many thought would trigger a huge uproar what followed was, in fact, calm acceptance. This serenity should not be seen merely as a coincidence, but perhaps as a sign that something has changed both spiritually and socially. It's as if everyone is in a moment of deep introspection, waiting for the next move. This calm contrasts sharply with the history of the place, which has been the scene of religious conflicts and tensions for centuries. It's like a moment of silence before the storm, or perhaps the prelude to something that transcends what we know so far about the dynamics of the Temple Mount. When there is no immediate resistance in moments that would normally be challenging, it indicates that the surrounding energies have changed as if the pieces on the spiritual board are being rearranged, preparing the ground for something to come. If even the most heated are more reflective, what else can we expect from this scenario? Here inevitably the question arises, how far can this unexpected calm take us? 
This tranquility may only be a temporary respite before a great event that will define the fate of the religions and peoples around the Temple Mount. It seems like everyone, Jews, Muslims, Christians, is taking a breath, as if something in the air signals. That great events are coming, events that will change history. Now all that remains is to see how this unexpected harmony can give way to the next act, a stage that many eagerly await and that involves preparation for something even more surprising. So, after everything we've discussed, the question that remains is, what are you going to do from now on? These events are not just distant stories or historical facts that have no impact on your life. They represent movements that are shaping our future. And it is up to you to decide whether you will passively observe or actively prepare. The Temple Mount is a reflection of what is to come, and what happened there invites us to act, to engage, to seek deeper understanding. Are you ready to accept this call and truly understand what it all means? Think about it. The prophecies are unfolding right before us. Will you allow yourself to be a passive witness? Or will you take control of your spiritual understanding and prepare yourself for what comes next? There are times when we need to ask ourselves if we are prepared for changes and if we are paying attention to the signs, and perhaps most importantly, are you willing to change the way you see the world and how you relate to it? All this reflection could be the beginning of something transformative. If you want to continue to understand everything about these events and follow every detail that can change our story, be sure to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. This way, you will always be up to date with what is happening and can prepare yourself in a conscious and informed way for each new movement. The future is unfolding and you can be part of this understanding. Click and follow each new step of this journey. If you enjoyed this content, consider supporting us by clicking the Super Thanks button below. Your support helps us continue sharing the transformative story of Jesus. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, and check out the video on your screen.